Hi, welcome back. This is Paramedic Project. Uh, we've got Tom Campbell joining us once again. Uh, he talked last time about penetrating eye injuries and here to talk to us about the other uh, big eye injury that you want to talk about, which was acid and alkaline burns and how we can treat them in the pre-hospital environment. So, Tom? Thanks, Tom. Well, yeah. it's great to be back on the show. This week I want to talk about having um, burns to the eye. And the classic ones we see in eye emergency departments are acid and alkali burns. Now, both of these are potentially catastrophic injuries to the eyes, which you can do something fantastic about and reverse the ongoing damage uh, on scene and in the early aftermath of the injury. Now, the solution to both of them is irrigation. You've got to irrigate the eye, and the earlier you get the irrigation in, the faster you stop the ongoing damage. Sure. And that's something that we see not being done often. People come into the emergency department, have stood at a triage desk and brought in by an ambulance or brought in by family, stood at a triage desk, finally got into an eye room, and that's the first time that irrigation has got into the eye. Okay, yeah. It's half an hour since the acid or the alkali has first gone into the eye, and a lot of the damage has already been done. But if we'd irrigated early on, we could have stopped that disease process really early and potentially stopped some of the damage to the eye. So what I recommend is on scene, someone's there, they've got injury to the eye, they splash something in it. It really doesn't matter what has gone into the eye. Water is the thing that will dilute it and get it out. And if you've got a bad burn to the eye, it really doesn't matter what water it is. Dirty water, tap water, any water you can get, you just have to dilute the noxious agent out of the eye. So putting that dirty water in there is going to be better than having an acid in, your acid in undiluted in your eye. So creek water, swimming pool water, doesn't matter if it's chlorinated or anything like that. You've just got to stop the damage. Sure. So the worst, the, damage thing, the worst thing is to leave it, leave it, leave it in there. Sure. Yeah. Especially alkaline. Alkaline doesn't sound as bad as an acid injury, but in fact it's much worse. And that's the kind of thing you need to get water in early, start irrigating, and while one person is irrigating the eye, holding it open, trying to get water in, it's really good to find the substance that's there and bring it in with you to give to the people in the emergency department so we can look up the MSDS or the data on it to see exactly what it is and whether there's anything we need to do special afterwards. But the first priority is irrigation. Sure. Now, one of the barriers to irrigation is that when people have a burnt eye, they scrunch the eye shut and they it's really hard for you to get the water in because they're spasming so much and they can't control it, it's to do with pain. So early analgesia makes the irrigation process better. So the two priorities, one, irrigate the eye and if you're having trouble because of the spasm of the eye, early adequate analgesia. Perfect, yeah. all right, so yep, irrigate with anything you've got handy, any type of water, dirty, fresh, tap water, doesn't matter what it is. That's what about in transit? How would you, if in an ambulance, you know, a couple of cases I've done where I've spoken to poisons, poisons information uh, service, and they've said, look, this patient, their eye should be ongoingly ir irrigated for for an hour or something, you know, yeah. and in transit, especially if you've got some long transport times, you know, it's not always metropolitan areas where we're, we're travelling in, it might be an hour drive or something. Um, how would you how do you go about that in transit, for example? Do you take a bucket and have them splash in it, or does it need to be running fresh water? Or so the easiest way to do it, and then the cleanest way as well, is just to get bags of normal saline. Yep. Get a giving set, and you can either have it running freely through a nice giving set, or what I've done in the past is just chop off the end and let it pour through, holding the eye open, and just pour the water directly into it. Sure. Now, so that's going to be a job. Your hand's going to be taken up in the back of the ambulance, holding that person's eye open, actually running it in. So it's not something here you go to irrigate your own eye made on the way to hospital. No, it's actually an active job you're yeah. doing. Yeah. And it's it's actually really horrible. People hate having water poured into their their eye, and For so you have reasons. to make certain that they keep doing it. You can give them little breaks to blink their eyes for a few seconds at a time, but you got to get the water back in there. Sure. Now, when you get into the hospital especially with acid and alkali burns, we'll do pH tests of the eye and irrigate the eye till the pH is neutralized. Now, I've irrigated a person's eye in the emergency department for four hours, continual irrigation before their eye pH was neutralized. So don't worry that you've put two liters of normal saline through or that you've done it for half an hour. That's, that may not be enough. 
irrigation can go on for a long time, but in the end, that's what saves the island. Fantastic. So I think the big point there for me too is the fact that it's actually, it's going to take your hands up in the back of the ambulance. So, you know, you can't really put that down and go and get your analgesia. And so you, you might need to get another set of hands in the back of the ambulance with you. You might need two people in the back just to make sure they're adequately analgesed and that you can keep irrigating it. And so that's the first thing. And if you can't get two sets of hands, you're going to have to really start thinking downstream of that patient's management a little bit further for maybe the whole time you're with them and maybe get three or four bags hung up ready to go so that you don't have to stop irrigating. You know, for, the, for that person's eye health, you really need to have all that stuff ready for the next 30, 40 minutes or an hour. So you're gonna to have to tell your driver, can you get me all the analgesia ready? Can you get me this many bags of saline ready so I can keep irrigating in transit? And maybe even you might have to get them to pull over and get in the back end and administer the analgesia for you so that you can do the, uh, the, the treatment that really is the priority for this patient, which is that ongoing irrigation yeah. of the eyes, you said. Yeah. All right, Perfect. awesome. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming on again. And that's been Paramedic Project. And uh, check us out on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again. See you next time. Thanks a lot.